Hello and welcome to 3D Usenet. We would love to see you joining us for the long term as part of a new and exciting way of sharing 3D information. So let's get you started as quickly as possible. This quick start guide will show you how to get your point clouds and your models uploaded, how to access them and view them, how to share them with others, and a few basics on some of the features you might want to use straight away. Short video tutorials for detailed use of each of the features are listed in the help section on the dashboard and on our YouTube channel. So firstly, let's get your data uploaded and ready to view. Once you've logged in, you'll be taken to the dashboard. To get started quickly, click on Projects on the left-hand side. First, you just need to set up a project in which to store your data. So give the project a name and short description, and if you have a location, put that in as well, or just click on an approximate point on the map. Then click on Add Project, and you'll see it positioned on the map. Next is to add your data. Click on the green plus button and then use the familiar upload functions to drop in your data set. So here I'm uploading a point cloud, but you can upload any point cloud or a 3D model or try both. Once the file is added, a pop-up appears that lets us define the structure of the data. It is covered in more detail in another tutorial, but here I am uploading a .las file that has RGB values from 0 to 255 intensity values from 0 to 65535, and I want both the colour and intensity to be kept in the converted file. You then hit upload and wait for the file to upload. This speed will be very dependent on your internet connection, but you can resume and retry the upload if your connection is unstable. Once the file is uploaded, then the icon turns green and it will be converted by our servers. You can check the status of the conversion here in the project area. Once it says it has completed, then you are ready to view your data. Find your project and click on the launch button. This will open the 3D viewer. So now you can view and navigate around your data. You can quickly zoom into an area of interest by double clicking on the data set. Then it is left mouse button to rotate, right mouse button to pan, and scroll wheel to zoom in and out. You can also use the WSAD keys or arrow keys to move around the scene in first person mode. Holding down shift at the same time doubles your speed of movement and left mouse button allows you to rotate your view. To get back to what we call third person mode, you simply right click and then you are back to the original control method. Navigation on a tablet or phone in third person mode is pretty intuitive. and I think you'll figure this out pretty quickly as it uses the typical gestures of most applications. There is a video on more advanced navigation in the help section on the dashboard. In order to optimize your viewing experience, there are tools to play with here on the settings menu at the top left of the screen. And again, a short video explaining them in more detail is available. The first way of sharing and collaborating is to add other users in your account to your group, and then they can log in and view the data. So here I am adding in one of my users on the dashboard. Firstly, I go to the Users tab and select Add Users and enter their details. I can also add them to my group under the Groups tab and selecting which users I want to add. Now they're in the group, they can launch the data themselves at the same time as you and if required, can work on it too. The second way is to invite a guest to a particular saved state of your project who will just be able to see what you have done but not change anything. They get emailed a time expiring link that gives them access, but only for that allotted time. So that's you started. Of course this is just the tip of the iceberg. There is the full measurement suite and annotations to use, the integration of models with point clouds to explore, and more to learn about saving the work you've done on your projects. And for admin people, how to add users and monitor their usage. See the list of short videos on all these areas in the help section of the dashboard, and pick the ones you need. So for now, we hope you enjoy seeing your data come to life online for you and your team and stakeholders. Let us know your thoughts at any time via support at 3dusenet.com. Thanks.